And guess who's back? Still smelling all of my clothes, all of my clothes, all of my clothes. You're still smelling all of my clothes, all of my clothes, all upon me. Clothes. It's your boy SFJ, Face of Fizz, Screw Face, Yawn, Mr. Face, SF, Mr. J, maybe. Nobody calls me that. Hey, Mr. J! Shout out to Harley Quinn. Now, we're back with another review, another blog, another day, another blog. How does it do? That's a weird piece. So, anyway, but <laughs> we are here to do Trick Trick featuring Eminem's Welcome to Detroit City. And you know why we're doing it? Because a lot of y'all told me to do it. It's that simple. I just did Detroit vs. Everybody. Y'all go check that out. And make sure you put in the comment section what is the next song y'all want me to do. You feel me? Because really, I'm kind of just stalling until Drake or Wayne. Because I heard Wayne might even be jumping into this whole uh, uh, Pusha T saga. I'm really stalling until uh, Drake drop his uh, response or Wayne get on it. But I'm hearing over here that... Uh, uh, what's his name? Jay Prince. Tell him not to respond. Yo, Jay Prince, why y'all ruin all the fun, man? Why y'all ruin all the fun, man? Why can't y'all let DP let him rap? Let him rap. The Trick Trick versus Trick Trick featuring Eminem. Welcome to Detroit. Ready? Oh, before I start, I need y'all to hit that like button to count of three. Uno. A bo. Tre. Toi. Mmm. Nice sneaker. You ready? Set. Go. Welcome to Mother Detroit. Welcome to Mother Airfin Detroit. This just sound like a early 2000s Eminem beat. Hey. Hold on. I do. I'm going to keep it honest. This is not the first time I've heard this song. Listen, I grew up in the early 2000s. You think this is the first time I heard this song? No. But one thing I will say is this is one of the times I thought Eminem singing was actually worked. Even though it was a little weird, so like, nah, man, nah, man, nah, man. but it was just, I like what he was saying and I kind of like the song. So I know y'all hate it. I, you know, I know y'all know I hate it when Eminem sings, but this one works. So ready, set, go. I said, welcome to Detroit City. Hey. That's <laughs> good, man. They all know tricky. That's what's good, man. They all say tricky. Boom, just as soon as we hit the room, you can hear him holler, okay. Goose Squad in his big piece. So, who am I gonna call along? When yeah, he's shouting out all his Detroit homies. Don't forget, Evan's from Detroit, sir. I like when Evan, I like when Evan gives it his gangster bag. Is he? Think about it, though. Think about it, though. M grew up as a white boy around nothing but a bunch of rapping Detroit dudes. If you don't think he got picked on, if you don't think that he had to throw these up a few times, then you might be dead wrong, right? And I know Trick Trick was probably mad happy that he got Eminem on a track. This was probably huge. But I bet you Eminem growing up in Detroit, doing a song with Trick Trick was big for him, too. Trick Trick, trick, trick is, a, is a god out there, so ready, set, go. And I don't like the way his boys keep looking at me. So He's telling a story, I like that storytelling M. So they had mugging. Now, it wasn't the most lyrical M verse ever, but it's. Hey. 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 we go. Ah, this kind of takes me back, though. Alright, Trick. Mm, okay. oh, ah, hold up. This is what I like about Detroit. Even they like the gangster rappers or who you would consider the people who may not pay attention to They all are lyrical. Listen to T Grizzly. T Grizzly raps mad different, but he's a lyrical rapper, bro. Like he's a punchline. He said. Blue beam on that chopper, Kamehameha. I throw them Dragon Balls at you like I'm Kakarot. That's a bar, bro. That's a bar, bro. That's a that's a bar. That's a punch. 
You know what I mean? Detroit people. And I really think it has... Who can you name that came from Detroit who isn't really, like, kind of bar heavy? Even when they, they, they like, their mainstream people be bar. Big Sean said, uh, um, my house is three stories. I call that the trilogy. What? Three stories? I call it the trilogy? Man, stop it. You can't name one. Even uh, a Dej Loaf be out here with the try me, try me. You know what I mean? Here we go. Ready, set, go. I respect Detroit for that. The lyrics are very, no matter how gangster or pop or whatever they are. Give me back when they used to censor things like this. I'll turn around. Y'all remember when they used to just reverse all the curse words? Turn things like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Bop, bop. Check it. Y'all know Chicky. Damn. Hold up. When 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 Trick Chick say, yo, um, from now on, whatever you beef get in, I mean, whatever beef you in, I'm in. It means a lot. It means it means a lot. You don't want to mess with them in Detroit. And I bet you M probably didn't even charge him. And if he did, it wasn't a lot. This is for street cred. This is what it was. And not just street cred, because M was like, I want to seem tough. I mean literal credibility in the streets where it's like, oh, no, he run with Trick. Leave him alone. Shout out. And you know what's crazy? You know how uh, uh, Trick Trick came in and said it was an Eminem beat? What did I say in the beginning of this? You can tell when Eminem produces a track. I think all that early 2000s stuff, like... The late 90s, Dre was producing everything. It's a certain sound, right? Then the, the, the early 2000s to... The early 2000s, because I would say it's still all early 2000s. M was producing for himself. I think around the shows, like the Eminem show, uh, Curtain Call, all them. So I think Eminem was producing for himself a lot. You could t I could just tell Eminem's production sound now without it even have to be said because I grew up in the late 90s to early 2000s and Eminem is and was the big like you escaping Eminem in the late 90s and 2000 was an impossible task it wasn't possible so we all grew up on M ready set go guys yeah white boy with him talking to Tanny like ah oh, we about to get okay mm. Okay. Mm. Hey, Eminem knew he was good after this, boy. Ooh, he was ten toes down after this. Trick Trick waiting to smoke him somebody for for M. He waiting on. <laughs> hey. Trick A. Hey. What's this? Oh, this is back when the beat used to switch up to something else. Listen. Eminem was super good after this song. That's all I'm telling you. It's dope that he came from Detroit and he came back and put... Because think about it, right? This is Eminem giving such a huge shout out to Trick Trip. This video has 12 million views. 12 million views. Do you know how much money that is on Trick Trick's Vivo? Do you know how much money that is in the Trick Trick's pocket? Do you know how, and this came out back when people used to buy CDs. I bet you this sold crazy amounts of singles. Crazy. Trick Trick made a nice little penny off this. I bet you then he was performing this. Oh, man. Shout out to M. Shout out to Trick Trick. Shout out to the whole Detroit. D Town West Side. Yes, the West Side. What did I holler big so much that you just thought his bed star? All of that. Huh? No effort. I'm going to do this with no effort. All that. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> My name's Screw. I'm pretty freaking awesome. But I wouldn't be nothing without you, the s &J Nation. Make sure you go check out my Hi My Name Is remix and um, the Tunnel Walk remix on all music platforms. Yeah, we out here. Nice.